Museums and how they exist have been under fire for quite some time. In most recent cases, there have been issues in compensation equity, board member affiliations, and institutionalized racism. It seems in some cases, museums are doing their best to right their wrongs through listening sessions, diversifying their management staff, and restructuring policy. I wanted to focus specifically on the Guggenheim Museum concerning the treatment of the first Black and Cuban guest curator, Shadria Labouvier, and the recent hiring of their first two full-time Black curators, Ashley James and Naomi Beckwith. Yes, I repeat, this is not a joke. In the 80 years that the Guggenheim has been open, these are the first two Black female curators in permanent roles. Before we delve into the present, let's take a quick recap of the past. In 2019, Shadria Labouvier was invited to curate an exhibition on Jean-Michel Basquiat's work about the police killing of the artist Michael Stewart, titled Basquiat's Defacement, The Untold Story. Labouvier has been researching the life and practice of Jean-Michel for 16 years, being one of the few most esteemed scholars in her field. The exhibition wrestles with state-sanctioned violence during the 1980s. It was later revealed that this same institutional violence was exhibited in the treatment of guest curator Le Bouvier. A prime example is shown during a panel event for the exhibition. This panel event included the newly hired curator Ashley James, head curator Nancy Spector, and two other contributors toward the exhibition, with the lead curator of the exhibition nowhere in sight. Le Bouvier, however, was present in the audience and explained that she was not invited to speak at this event of the show she curated. From a clip on Twitter, Le Bouvier stands up and speaks of her experience. I just wanted to address the elephant in the room. Um, I'm the curator of the Basquiat show that's upstairs. And um, two of the contributors to my catalog are on the stage. And the black woman who's been hired as the first black curator that the Guggenheim has hired full time is on the stage as well. And so when we're talking about this dynamic of the institution bringing in black bodies, bodies of color to talk about institutional violence, to talk about um, labor, and to talk about uh, museums being responsible um, in the past, but what about what happens in the present? After six months in July 2020, the Guggenheim announced an investigation would take place by an outside law firm, Kramer Levin. Le Bouvier announced she would not be participating in the investigation after receiving information from a board member. On Twitter, Le Bouvier shared this thread detailing her experience. You can find the whole thread linked below. After Le Bouvier spoke out, an open letter signed by approximately 20 current and former museum employees shared how the Guggenheim has upholded an unequitable work environment that enables racism, white supremacy, and other discriminatory practices. Despite the outcries from Le Bouvier and the entire curatorial department in October 2020, the results of the three-month investigation determined that there were no evidence found verifying Le Bouvier's mistreatment. Within the same month, Nancy Spector resigned from her 34-year tenure at the museum. In tandem, the museum released a plan of action including job opportunities and internships promoted within historically Black universities and creating a professional network for Black Indigenous people of color. Three months later, in January 2021, Naomi Beckwith was hired as the first deputy director and chief curator of the museum. Looking at this entire situation, I have questions, and I'm curious to know what you all think about this. Does hiring people of color fix systemic injustice? Do representational politics solve anything besides aspiration? Is it the responsibility of people of color to fix these issues? And how much power should the board of directors truly have in running a museum? How can the museum space reposition itself as a place for discourse on these issues? This is not a cautionary tale to raise fear but a call to arms to be wise and intentional if you choose to enter into these spaces. 
Systemic injustice is an intricate and violent beast, but it isn't untouchable. Whether you are a person of color or not, how you perpetuate white supremacy or remain complacent to it is entirely up to you. After Labouvier spoke out, 200 other individuals came forward, but what would it look like if they actually validated her experience in the midst of it all? Thank you for tuning in to this episode. Stay tuned for next week.